Marvin, Marcellus's inside guy that opened the door at exactly 7.25 a.m., without them having to knock, was going to double-cross Jules and Vincent. For this, he partnered with the guy in the bathroom. That's why the guy was in the bathroom with a gun, at that specific minute. It's also why he didn't notify Vincent and Jules of his presence. If the plan worked, Brett, flock of seagulls, Jules, and Vincent would be dead. Split the contents of the briefcase two ways instead of four, and two Wallace hit men, who won't be cared about by authorities, are eliminated. Jules himself says, after the man charged out to shoot them, we should be dead. He's right. They should have been. The guy got the jump and completely surprised them. Jules is convinced that divine intervention stopped the bullets. He's distracted by this. But Vince stays in character and confronts Marvin for forgetting that the guy was in the bathroom with a hand cannon. He doesn't once take his eyes off Marvin, crouching down to confront him, gun still drawn. He keeps this intense focus until Jules talks to him. Remember the look on Vincent's face when he turned to Marvin. Remember the look on Marvin's face when he is confronted? Jules' attention is entirely focused on that they weren't killed. Marvin also, while they were shooting Brett, falls down as far as he could possibly get from the bathroom shooter's eventual path of attack. And he makes a distraction of his own, annoying Vince and necessitating Jules to tell him to shut up. This gets Jules and Vincent somewhat out of character. Also, after Jules and Vincent survive, Marvin was a bit bewildered, to the point where Jules had to chastise him to get him to leave. Marvin's response in the car was that of somebody who was clearly not planning on being there. Later, divine justice is laid upon Marvin for his attempt at a double cross when he gets shot in the face. I think that, if Jules' attention hadn't been distracted, he too might have noticed, been on the same page as Vince, and they might have killed Marvin in the apartment. Marvin was a nobody. Signified by Wolf later, who described him as nobody who will be missed.